One of the most important mitzvot that a person needs to know about is the mitzvah of Mesirut Nefesh. Mitzvah of Mesirut Nefesh is not an easy mitzvah. By default, it's the opposite. What is Mesirut Nefesh? Self-sacrifice. Self-sacrifice for Hashem. Now, question comes in the Gemara, Masechet Psachim, page 53b. It says, when do you know that you are a Eved Hashem, a servant of Hashem? Everybody thinks that they're a servant of Hashem as soon as they put a kippah on or a kisui rosh, a long skirt, a dress, maybe a peot, maybe a tzitzit, everything. No, no, I'm a servant of Hashem. All day I'm watching shiwi. Yeah, you're a servant of Hashem. You have to test yourself. How do you know you're a servant of Hashem? I pray. Doesn't mean you're a servant of Hashem. I learn Torah. Doesn't mean you're a servant of Hashem. I do mitzvot. Doesn't mean you're a servant of Hashem. Who's servant of Hashem? Moshe Rabbeinu was servant of Hashem. But you're also obligated to be servant of Hashem. Eved Hashem. How do you know? We're all obligated to be Eved Hashem. The ladies, the men, everybody. Not to be Moshe Rabbeinu. Everybody's in their own level. But the point being, we're all obligated to do it. How do you know you're there? How do you know you get How did you get there? As soon as you come to the conclusion that you're going to do what Hashem said, even when you don't want to, that's when you start understanding the role of an Eved Hashem. If your servitude of Hashem is only on your conditions, you are as far from being an Eved Hashem as Bil'am was. If you are going to serve Hashem only when it fits your agenda, only when it fits your schedule, only when it fits your budget, only when it fits your lifestyle, you're not an Eved Hashem. You're just another person that maybe does some mitzvot. An Eved doesn't have his own or her own will. And Eved has the will of the master. Now, of course, that doesn't necessarily mean that he wants to do it, but he's going to do it because the master said so. So that means that the master said, wake up early in the morning. I don't want to wake up in the morning. Who wants to wake up early in the morning? No one wants to wake up early now. But the master said to wake up early in the morning. So guess what you'd have to do? You want to be an Eved Hashem? You have to wake up early in the morning. You don't want to be an Eved Hashem? Well, you want to pretend? Pretend. Wake up at 12, 1, 2, 3, 5 o'clock. Wake up. Go ahead. Pretend in your head. Eved Hashem means you have to learn Torah. Yeah, but I don't like to learn Torah. Okay. So you're not going to Eved Hashem. No, 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 but I want to be Eved Hashem. Okay, I'll learn Torah when I get a chance. That's not an Eved Hashem. I'll learn Torah when I uh, have time. That's not an Eved Hashem. I'll learn Torah when I'm in a good mood. Ah, that's not an Eved Hashem. I'll learn Torah when I feel good. It's not an Eved Hashem. You know what Eved Hashem is? You learn Torah even when you don't want to. Even when you're sick. Even when you feel like you're about to die. Even when you feel like you're on fire. Even when you are tired. Even when you are busy. Even when you hate it. Even when you don't understand it. Even when you simply want to run away. You know what you do? You learn Torah. That's an Eved Hashem. Yeah, but I feel like I'm wasting my time. Perfect. Just do it. Yeah, but I'm not benefiting out of it. No, you're benefiting. You're being an Eved Hashem. Yeah, but I'm not learning anything. I'm learning. I'm reading, reading, reading. I don't understand a single word. Perfect. Who said you have to understand? Where did HaKadosh Baruch command? Learn Torah. He didn't say you have to understand. Learn Torah. Obviously, try to understand, but learn Torah. Yeah, but why don't I just go read like, I don't know, a kid's book or something. If that's Torah in that kid's book, read it. But if it's not Torah, then read what you're reading. Why? Because that's what HaKadosh Baruch wants you to do. But it's hard. Perfect. That's perfect Eved. What do you think? It's an easy job for the Eved? An Eved Hashem Rabotai is the person that when someone insults him, when someone yells at him, especially when it's his wife, especially when it's her husband, and she knows Hashem doesn't want me to respond. Hashem doesn't want me to curse back. But I want to. I want to curse him to make sure his mother is reminded of what I think of him. I want to do something to this person that he's going to remember for the next three generations. But you know what I'm going to do? Nothing. Why? Because Hashem doesn't want me to do it. I want to do it. And I actually think he deserves it. What am I going to do? Nothing. I'm going to sit quiet. Tatale, I love you, honey. Why are you cursing me? You're so cute when you curse. You're so adorable. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? You want salad with the steak? Why? Hashem wants me to stay like this. Why? Because if I fight with him, 
You know what's going to happen? It's going to get worse. So I'm going to do what Hashem wants me to do. What Hashem wants me to do, stay quiet. Yeah, but he's insulting you publicly. He's writing stuff against you on the internet. He wrote eight, nine, ten articles about you. He called you names. He did this. Baruch Hashem. What do you mean Baruch Hashem? Why don't you tell him back? Why? For what purpose? To show who? Who am I showing? Did he insult Hashem? No, he insulted you. Who cares about me? If he insulted Hashem, that's something for me to respond to. Insulted me? Who cares about that? Why? Hashem. It's only that matters. And ever the Hashem Rabotai Yekarim means that you're going to do a bunch of stuff that you don't want to do. Why? Hashem wants you to do it. And as soon as we realize that that's the life we're supposed to aspire to be, that's when we begin our journey of being an Ebed Hashem.